We're used to men making promises and failing. I will give you a job, they say. And by next week, they've been sacked out of that position. Because even though they were occupying that position as managers, there was an authority above them. You only become afraid of what God has said if there's someone higher than him. Because the person higher than him can stop him from doing it. But he swore, he searched if there was one greater and not finding any, he swore by his name that by these two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. Please hear me. From any level and at any dimension in life, this God, this mysterious God is able to pick you from where you are and lift you beyond your wildest imagination. Please hear me, my dear people. Do not allow society bully you with their sense of mediocrity. Everyone was created. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Mm. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence. So help comes. Help does not just appear. There is a location where help resides. It says, my help cometh, just like faith cometh. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And I've said it here that it's not only heaven and earth he makes. He also makes men. He also makes destinies. The maker of the heaven and the earth. The maker of destinies. The one who can pick an ordinary person from anywhere regardless the background. And lift you. Listen, don't be left behind. God is shifting people into levels and dimensions in destiny. Don't sit down arguing and wondering, can God make a way in the wilderness? Don't sit down and say, I come from a village. I am not as educated as I would have wanted to be. I cannot even speak English well. We are talking about the creator of the ends of the earth. The maker. It's a name and an attribute of God that very few people understand. To make means to combine the right ingredients and produce a definite outcome make rice for me you go to the market and source for everything that you use to make quality rice are we together alongside the sense to combine them you can buy the ingredients and not have the intelligence to combine them you will still not make that thing so when you call god the maker that means he knows that for you to rise you need prosperity you need health you need influence someone from lagos needs to know you someone from london needs to know you and like a, like a woman goes to the market to shop he will go around by his spirit shop for people and things bring them together to your life this is what paul was trying to say that god is able to make all grace abound don't forget this example the might of God the one who is mighty is not just the one who does mighty things but the one who can look for the ingredients listen those of you who have vehicles how many of you know that there are vehicles we hardly buy not just because they are expensive but their parts they are rare it's easy to it's difficult to look for the parts today you can't just get up and go and buy a plane and say give me a plane no they have to vet you who are you how did you make your money? You can't go and buy weapons today. No, you must receive a letter from a government backing you. On what grounds and what would you use it for? What is the legal backing? If your weapons are found with a terrorist, what should be done to you? So when the Bible says he's the maker, that means there are many people who try, but their strength cannot reach your destiny helper. Their strength cannot restore all of the ingredients that must be coordinated in your life for your life to speak his praise. God is able to make. Mm. It's one thing for God to take you somewhere, but it's one thing for God to bring that somewhere to you. Gentiles, your Bible says, shall come. There are times he will take you before kings. But there are times Gentiles will come to your light. And they are kings. These are the attributes that makes him mighty. Oh. 
for God to do signs and wonders but it's another thing for him to make you you become a living wonder it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and we are for wonders in Israel please believe this so that whilst we are praying you will remember again what God told you that you may be small now but I will lift you among your family members and put you in a position of grace and then the devil tries to tell you you where did he leave all the people there then you just remember that the person talking is the maker the maker we're used to men making promises and failing I will give you a job they say and by next week they've been sacked out of that position because even though they were occupying that position as managers there was an authority above them you only become afraid of what God has said if there's someone higher than him because the person higher than him can stop him from doing it but he swore he searched if there was one greater and not finding any he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible for God to lie please hear me from any level and at any dimension in life this God, this mysterious God is able to pick you from where you are and lift you beyond your wildest imagination. Please hear me, my dear people. Do not allow society bully you with their sense of mediocrity. Everyone was created. No matter the color of your skin, the mat, no matter what region, you are still a creature. The only person that you truly owe that fear and reverence is the one who created, who can change times. And if he has decided to tell you that this is your season, then believe it. Believe it. Don't believe that rubbish. I can't be lifted in Zaria. I can't prosper. I can't see the outstretched arm of God. Remember what I told you. It is not always that God takes you to the place of the blessing. There are times he takes the blessing and looks for you. Where are you? He will search for you. Let me give you an example. When Jesus was born, they didn't carry a baby looking for the Magi. Uh -uh. The Magi left their place of honor and they were searching around. They never said this place is uncomfortable. Uh -uh. Not when there is grace there. our vain search for greener pastures will only frustrate us for nothing greener pastures is where his word is where his word is the sent word are you learning something tonight so signs and wonders reveal to you that God is mighty he's mighty Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I wrote this song many years ago. 
as a revelation of the depth of the comprehension of the might of God it was a revelation that he brought to my life like Bishop Oyedepo would say I didn't just see him high and lifted up alone I saw myself too Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth he says and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you I said this is it so every time I sing about him being highly lifted first I take out time to worship him but while I'm worshiping him I know that I'm rising to seated with him when you know this you will refuse to allow situations and circumstances to defeat you and make it look like the walk on the cross was a, a just some Christian fables no no he says I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power not just the message the power there is power in that revelation hallelujah so you know that you are not ordinary this is not some Pentecostal talk <laughs> the only part of the hands you can see is the one that is physical but that's not all there is there is more to it the only part of a life you can see is the one that is visible it is not only what is visible that is really alone just because something is invisible does not mean it is unreal and the prophet said open his eyes and when he opened his eyes he saw chariots chariots that you will see the backing of heaven that supports you that you will see the favor of God that you will see the spiritual arsenals that are, are around your life determined to see that your destiny becomes a praise then fear dies it dies a natural death say after me in the name of Jesus one more time say in the name of Jesus I declare that the mighty God is at work in my life revealing his glory revealing his power in my life we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you